what the fuck just happened, bro? <laughs> what the fuck just happened, bro? That shit was crazy. Hmm. Hmm. It still says unstable, though. Y'all can see me, though, right? Or can y'all see me? It's saying everything went back to normal. Which I think it might actually be working. Okay, cool. Thank you. What the fuck was that, y'all? What the fuck was that? Hey, man. That shit just fucked up everything for me, bro. All right, well, fuck it. We're going to get back to it. So I've been waiting on this Yeezy Gap drop for fucking months. I'd probably say a good four to six months to a, a couple years, actually. But this drop is going gonna, is gonna to change a lot of things about fashion, man. And then I just heard the other day that Phoebe Philo is back doing fashion. Y'all, I don't know if this is a sign for me because these are designers I fuck with. I don't know if y'all ever heard of Phoebe Philo, but her fucking fashion is fucking amazing. And these designers that be designing for years, bro, but they go work for these different fashion houses. And as soon as they get up in these other fashion houses, bro, these motherfuckers who own the shit end up fucking the whole vibe up. The whole shit just be fucked up. So I'm like, man, you know what? I don't even care, bro. I'm tired of, I'm tired of these fucking, um, these CEOs of these fashion brands taking these designers and running them into the ground, knowing that these designers are fucking skilled as fuck. Like these, these designers on their own and they own like fashion houses be creating like shit that be lasting a lifetime, right? Like when people be talking shit about Kanye West, bro, my nigga, Kanye Created a shoe brand to the level of damn Payless. This man got so many styles of shoes, he can literally open up his own Payless, y'all. Think about it, man. If people is funneling billions of dollars into his company, right? Kanye West, Adidas, right? Yeezy brand, right? Billions of dollars. We know, we as smart humans know that these shoes don't cost as much as he charging. But think about it like this. He got about 20 million or 20 billion, 30 billion put into this company, right? Now he can start selling these shoes for $20, $30. And guess what? People going to be buying these shoes like a motherfucker. It's going to be like when, uh, I don't know if y'all remember. Damn, what's the name of that store, man? Hold up. We going to find out. We going to see what the name of the store is. So there's this store that used to sell clothes, right, up in this mall. In my hood. Hold up. What store? So they used to sell these shoes called Starberries. And Starberries were uh, Stephen Berries, bro. Oh, my God. Yes. Basically, that's what Kanye is doing with Gap and with these sneakers. He's about to come out with a Kanye West Stephen Berries. But that shit going to be called Yeezy, bro. Stephen Berry, them, them uh, Starberries was like $20, $30, bro. But good quality shoes. They lasted. We used to skateboard in them shits because we was broke. We had jobs and shit, but we wasn't trying to spend all that money on fucking sneakers. I'm lying because I had ice cream, all the Jordans, all the motherfucking, pretty much any sneaker you could think of that sneakerheads would have, I had them. That, and then shit that don't even, they don't even have no more, like Supra. Supers used to be so popular, bro. Bitches is gone. Up in smoke. So, fucking, this man Kanye West about to have a damn Yeezy Star, uh, Steven Berries, like a Payless, Yeezy Payless, bro. Can you, uh, Matt, you already see the, des the designs that this man got, bro. Now he got the clothes. He got the boots. He got the women's line. He's selling stilettos. 
Like these shits finna be more popular than red bottoms and they're gonna be affordable for everybody. Everybody gonna be wearing Yeezy, bruh. Like, this man is about to change. He already done changed music. Him and Lil Wayne done changed music together. Him, Lil Wayne, and T.I. Them three niggas changed rap, bro. We all seen the shift of rap. I can't think of nobody else who did, besides maybe UGK. That's it. Because Pimp C's a fucking legend. R.I.P. Pimp C. But as far as uh, hip-hop, them four niggas changed the game, bro. Kanye West about to change fashion. Like, he about to turn this shit on his head. So, y'all be ready. And then Phoebe follow back doing fashion. Ain't no telling what she finna do. Because she a, she's a generation before my generation. So, the fact that I even know about her, her art. Listen, y'all. When I tell you I'm really about this fucking fashion shit. And this fucking spirituality shit. Because beauty's beauty, man. If I'm gonna align myself with the beauty of knowing thyself. I might as well align myself with the beauty of the swag. The drip. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, Kanye dropped another... He Okay, so let's get to the real topic. Kanye dropped another Gap piece today, y'all. Now, he what he's doing is he's making jackets out of recycled nylon, bro. So he's taking shit that people have thrown away, and he's recycling it and creating products with it. Y'all, if, if that don't sound like Save the Earth to me, I don't know what does. But you know people, man. They gonna talk shit. And they're going to say, well, well, uh, Kanye, uh, motherfucking took the mic out of Taylor Swift's hands and said Beyonce had the best video of all time. I mean, did she not, though? It's a pretty good video, man. And Taylor Swift is like unseasoned chicken as far as I'm concerned. Like, I, I get nothing from the chicken, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't really, I mean, I ain't going to lie, bro. We we in, in this establishment listen to Taylor Swift to a degree. Because we listen to all types of music. Me, personally, I could give a fuck about her music. But nothing against her. I just don't care for her music. Just like some people might not care for Kanye West's music. I don't know how. You gotta be fucking lost in the sauce. But hey, you know, to each their own, I guess. But man, when I tell you. People going to have, everybody, like I said, opinions is like assholes, man. Everybody got one. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, y'all may be like, oh, I ain't going to speak for y'all, but I'll just make a general statement here. Some people might think that there's there's nothing exciting about this Kanye West line, but what, what I just explained to you should tell you how great this shit's going to be for fashion, for music, for the culture that we don't follow anymore, because... If you if you watching this stream, we beyond the culture. We looking at what niggas is doing. That's polymath. That's ch trying to change the world, creating communities. You know what I'm saying? Doing shit to make the world go forward. Cause that's what Kanye West is about. I don't know if y'all ever heard him speak, but y'all should probably do that. Y'all should watch his interview that he did with Joe Rogan. That's the best shit that I've seen in a long time of somebody making sense on levels that niggas can't comprehend because. They just fucking, and I don't know. I don't know where they at. The Matrix or whatever. I don't believe in that shit either. I believe that this world is what you make it. You born into this fucking shit, this is what it is. You create your own fucking world. Look look to the people who have. I know somebody gonna say some dumb shit about the Illuminati. Okay, whatever. Call them what you want, man. If that's the case, you shouldn't watch my stream. So, we just gonna leave it there. Now, let's get to the real shit, man. My nigga Vampside Norman is a good friend of mine, and not because he Kendra Lamar cousin, but he's just a good friend of mine because me and him been talking since he dropped, probably since the, like before he dropped his album officially. I've been waiting on him to drop the video to the first single I heard from him. He's based in Las Vegas, and this man is a creative genius, I think. To me, he's a creative genius. His music is like no other, and he's a hip hop artist. And the fact that I can say that, it, it makes me feel like he's somebody if I was to do a record with now as Lord Shoe X, because the people I used to work with at Tablet Song X, I'll probably never work with them again. They don't fit my bill. You know what I'm saying? Nothing against them, but I'm just in a different space creatively. So 
you know, I'm not really fucking with the shit that people on nowadays, you know. That shit really ain't vibing with me no more. So, way I look at it, if I was to work with an artist now, it would either be him. Yeah, it would probably be just him right now. I can't really, besides, you know, the obvious people like Kanye or Young Thug or shit. I would even work with Chance the Rapper, man. Or fucking um, Joey Badass. I would work with him for sure, man. Uh... Who else would I work with, man? Fuck. Here, see, it's it's hard, man. I don't really fuck with too many artists these days. You know, I make I make a playlist. I actually have a playlist on title. If y'all want to check it out, it's called the Cybertruck playlist based on the Tesla Cybertruck. Which I ain't really fucking with Tesla, man. I'm gonna keep it funky with y'all. I just want that truck, but I ain't fucking with Tesla, man. It's a reason why, but I'm not gonna go into it. Actually, you know what? I will go into it, man. I I just don't want to get my channel shut down on some fuck shit, but. Last night, bro, I just, I got really in my feelings last night, man. I'm going to keep it a hundo. I'm going to keep it a one hundo with y'all, man. I was in my feelings like a motherfucker last night. Because I'm just thinking about child labor, man. Like, ever since corona, child labor has gone up so much. Like, I don't know if y'all know that, but read some CNN articles, read articles all over the internet, and you'll find out what I'm talking about. Like... I'm always checking on child labor. I'm always checking on sex trafficking. I'm all, this is shit that I'm always looking up because, like I said on the last stream, we should totally make a Discord server as a group of individuals that's supposed to be light workers talking about fucking these things. These things. We need to be speaking on this and finding solutions. Or as my girl said, we need to be imagining solutions. I imagined some solutions last night. Because I'm just like, bruh, this shit is ridiculous, man. The fact that people are, like, not giving a fuck about this. Like, the shit that y'all use, this laptop that I'm literally on, bro, was used. Child labor was used to create this laptop, bro. This TV, this microphone, all this shit. These iPhones, all this shit. And don't nobody give a fuck. And I hate to say it because I'm using these things now. But at least I'm fucking raising awareness, man. At least, at, at the least I could do is fucking raise awareness. Because I'm at a point now where I'm just like, bruh, if I keep seeing this shit, man, I'm going to go fucking crazy, bruh. I'm going to go fucking crazy. Because nobody give a fuck. Like, look up Cobalt and South, and fucking, uh, not South Africa, but the Republic of Congo. You know how many kids missing hands because they digging up Cobalt? Cobalt is in lithium-ion batteries, y'all. Now, uh... Just think about it, okay? What what you what do you use in your everyday life that requires a lithium ion battery? I don't even want to say it, man. I don't even want motherfuckers say everything, man. God damn, every motherfucking thing just about as far as electronics and communication goes. But I ain't like I said, as I'm just raising awareness. That's the that's all the fuck I got to do. Cause I'm not, you know, I ain't the type to make make people feel guilty and shit and push shit on their conscience on some guilt trip type shit. I'm letting y'all know so that y'all can be thinking how I'm thinking. Well, what can, what the fuck can I do? Hey, share this goddamn video. It'll make it easier. And I ain't even, when when I say that, y'all, I ain't saying share my video so my, my channel can get popular. And it should get popular so I can talk about this shit to a wider audience. Yes. That's how I look at it. Not on some, oh, he just want to have a bunch of followers so he can he can do some cult type shit. I mean, yeah, but that's besides the point. Y'all already know what the real shit is, man. If I'm up here talking about shit and I'm really up here, like, giving y'all the facts, I'm not, all I'm going to tell you is to go do the research. Do your research, okay? That's all the fuck I'm going to say. I can't tell you what to do, but all I can do is give you the knowledge that I know and let you run with it, man. But all I know is, hey, my channel might be here tomorrow. It might not. But I said what I had to say on this live. That, and I got it off my chest. But no matter what, I'm always going to use the, the, the fucking missing fingers and, and kids becoming paralyzed and shit like that. It's not going to go in vain fucking with Laura Chouette. That's for motherfucking sure. Because I'm, I'm frankly getting sick of this shit, bro.
Like, I done spent, like, a good amount of my, like, recent years of life trying to find a way of creating a community that could combat this type of shit, man. We ain't got to fucking boot up and suit up and go to these countries with fucking AKs, man. It's ways around this shit. Y'all know there's a world court. You could take this shit to world court. You could take this to the world trial, but you got to be organized. You got to have somebody who know what the fuck they talking about, and you got to be able to trace the shit back to motherfuckers. Simple shit, man. You don't even got to be, you don't even got to go to law school to do that. I, I just Let me fucking be the fucking person speaking the case on that shit. Hey, y'all see these kids? This shit ain't just happening. And yeah, they always say that bullshit. Well, we, we, uh, we're not responsible for the practices of the companies that we do business with. Nigga, then you need to not do business with they motherfucking ass. If you know they let little kids fucking lose their hands and they got them out there pickaxing with the fucking nubs and shit. Come on, bro. Like, what the fuck? Niggas is wildin', man. That's why, to me, what Kanye West is doing with his clothing line is fucking amazing. Because he's using recycled products from us Americans who throw shit away on a fucking daily basis knowing they don't, they don't need all this fucking shit. Greedy motherfuckers. And I'm not hating on all Americans. I'm just hating on the people who waste and don't recycle and don't care about the fucking world. Like, come on, man. This shit is easy, man. This ain't even... Look, they, they, the motherfucking U.S. government give you a tub to put the shit in, nigga. But anyways, I ain't gonna keep ran, man, because, look, you either gonna do it or you not. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just leave it there. Sex trafficking, I'm getting tired of that shit. You know, I can't do it alone, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, want, I wish I could. I would turn into Rambo. You know what I'm saying? But you know how fucking sad my family would be? Me just sacrificing myself. This is not just my... This isn't my burden. Okay? We live in this world together. Okay? It's not just my motherfucking burden. I shouldn't be the only one up at night worried about kids that's not even mine. Like, come on, bro. That shit's lame. But at the same time, I ain't mad at y'all either because awareness. If you don't know this shit's happening or you just completely closed off to it, I can get that. But the people who fucking know about this shit, be real with yourself, okay? Because you know, the watchers is always motherfucking watching. But yeah, man, like, come on, bro. That kind of go with the title of this stream today, Procrastinators. Why the fuck I've been procrastinating on this shit, on even talking about this shit? Like I'm talking about it today. You know, I should have been talking about this shit. But don't worry. I'm definitely going to be talking about this shit way more on my streams. And not just, uh, you know, child uh, exploit, you know, exploitation of children and fucking exploitation of women. And fucking exploitation of everybody, human humanity. I'm just sick of the fucking exploitation. I'm tired of people using humans to create false cultures and benefiting from it. And the communities where the culture is created get turned into shit. And they drop all this shit into the community so that once the culture is deleted in that community, then the other people who are fucking using it to make money off of it can claim it as they fucking own. I'm sick of that shit, man. Like, bro, I was writing this fire-ass song today about... The fucking rain, dog. Sick of this shit, man. But don't worry. <laughs> every time, every time I do any project, I always funnel, I always funnel it straight back into the motherfucking corporation, baby. <laughs> it's never, it's never just in my pockets, bro. It's going straight back into the motherfucking corporation. Know that shit. But yeah, you know, I just been chilling. <laughs> Just dealing with these planetary alignments, fucking bringing shit to the light. Just setting, just just setting goals for the year. Making sure my mind is a one. Making sure I'm meditating, staying aware of myself, my own, my own demons. You know what I'm saying? Not the world's demons, but my own shadows. Because if if I look at it like, oh, this is just shadows outside of me. These these things are within me as well. I stay on my tippy toes with myself. 
I stay on my tippy toes with other people's shadows. But to me, it's hard for me to even see other people's shadows because I just see one big ass shadow. And all the little, it's like a huge shadow with a bunch of puzzle pieces of different, different people's shadows all in one big shadow. It's hard for me to see shit just separately anymore, man. Because the more I go into it deeper and deeper every year, the more I start realizing, damn, I need to really start, I, I got to, I got to, bro. I got to start doing shit for the world. You know, I got to start creating for the world, not just for myself, you know. Most of the projects and music I've ever done was always for myself. You know, I like making music that I like to make, which is cool. You know, I'm going to still keep doing that. Don't get it fucked up. Like, I'm still going to make the music I want to make, but ain't no motherfucking way that I'm going to be out here, you know, just making like fucking bullshit, bro. Like, I've always been the type of artist to just look. If you're going to make music about thotties and hoes and twerking, like, have a meaning why. Like, don't just make the shit so that the, sh the acts can take place. Which, there's, I don't know, there's no good and bad for me either. Because just like there's sex trafficking, you know, there's also really great things happening in the world. You know, we going through a shift. The world is going through a spiritual shift of realizing that these things are just things that happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, children and uh, women are getting exploited like fuck, but, you know, people are getting exploited like fuck, you know, animals getting exploited like fuck, but there's also people discovering cures and new, cre new uh, species of animals are being discovered, you know? Uh, shit. Animals that were once in danger are now becoming not so much in danger, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there are positive things taking place. But at the same time, what you put your energy into manifests. And when we ignore the darkness, because that's how you really see the light, is not by not ignoring the darkness. When you ignore that darkness... That darkness thrives within you and it gets bigger and stronger. And you lose yourself in this shit. Don't never turn away from the darkness or the light. Stand in both of them as much and as long as you possibly can. Because that's the shit that's going to really open your eyes to the real middle path. Just like how I'm trying to with this fucking stream right now. I want you to look at this shit from the middle path. If you want to. You know what I'm saying? Some people like being just only in positive world. Nothing can go wrong. But then when the dark shit hit they ass, they fucking curled up in a ball. And we need y'all. Y'all the motherfucking actual warriors. The people who doing that shit. That's stuck in positive world. Y'all the real warriors. Get the fuck out of that bullshit, man. That shit's not serving the people. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. That shit ain't serving no fucking body, man. All it is is making more people docile. Fight for what you believe in, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying go out here and try to overturn the goddamn government. But if you feel this injustice is happening around you that you can control... Find other like-minded people, get together, have meetings, talk to somebody in the city, city council, get with them, get together, make a bill, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know the fucking process of our whack-ass government. That's just what it is. That's, that's what the fuck you gotta do. You can't just stand on, on your own, too, and start shooting motherfuckers, because then you a terrorist. Can't just start an army... Cause you a terrorist like i said i even said it on my fucking song i can't i was gonna I, I was gonna go all the way through and just have niggas walking through the streets gang gang with fucking ak's but you can't do that shit our government will have your ass locked up so motherfucking fast <laughs> like bro i didn't went through every fucking possible thing i could to help children and women 
I didn't study them. I didn't got with them and fucking study their individual thoughts and spiritual processes and spiritual happenings and the whole nine, bro. May not have been on a huge fucking world scale, but shit, it's I'll say it's pretty good science experiment. Pretty good hypothesis. You know, pretty good conclusion. So I got my personal numbers I can build off of. Sometimes you got to go out there and really find out what it what it is. You know what I'm saying? You got to get out here in these streets. Shit, I, I would consider myself a grassroots pro, uh, politician. You know? Like, y'all see how passionate I am about this world. I might not sound like it sometimes when I talk. But that's what I'm trying to help y'all understand. That one day, if we all in this world come together... And we really can work towards creating some shit, man. Hey, what's good? Welcome to the channel. You watching another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. Well, this is probably your first episode, so welcome, man. Right now, we talking about how us as individuals turning away from our shadows is ignoring the light. If we work together and look at these shadows, we'll start to realize there's a middle path that we all can go down. Find like-minded individuals who also thinking like this. Share this share this video. Share this channel with other people so that we can all come together as a community. Make a Discord server and we can talk about how we can work on some community shit. And you don't even got to be in America. You can be in anywhere in the world, bro. Anywhere in the whole world that we can start working together to build some shit and get something popping. Because it's too many injustices around us that we can control if we got together and start talking to each other. But it's a lot of people that's afraid. And I understand that. You know, sometimes you got to build up confidence and work with other people. And that's cool. But that's all we talking about right now. I'm Lord Shoe X, by the way, man. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate you watching. So, shameless plug. If you ain't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, my social media is on there. Follow me on Instagram at shoelovesrebelsllc. My Facebook page is the same thing. You can hit me up. I want to talk about this, y'all. I really do. Like, the projects I'm working on right now, I want to share them with y'all so that we can build a community and get this shit popping. Because right now, I ain't going to lie, y'all. I'm getting a little fed up, and I, it, it can't just be... It's not a burden to me. You know what I'm saying? This ain't just on me. It's a lot of us that can do something. We all doing something in our own little way. Even if you just paying some money. Putting in some money into the pot on some... on Hell, if I got to do it by myself, just put in some money into me. Invest in me. Like, for real. I'm a grassroots politician, my damn self. If you want to see somebody make some change and that ain't scared, I don't give a fuck if I got to learn how to do public speaking overnight. I got classes just waiting for... I, I keep them shits tucked away like the pistol, bro. Of just classes on top of classes waiting for moments like this shit. Because I don't like to overwhelm myself with information no more, man. I've been doing that for about 30-some years. I'm over that. When y'all want to see some shit pop and you looking for somebody who ready to get out here and put their fucking... They, they passions on the line for it, I'm your motherfucking guy, Okay? But, man, it's just too much shit going on with people turning their eyes away from their true spiritual nature. From helping each other out. And we can control this. It ain't even about, oh, man, it's just so much going on. I can't stop this. We actually can control this. Like, ten of us. if if Hell, if a hundred of us came together, man, we can control this. Oh, yeah, for sure. You good, you good. Just uh, run run this stream back, and you good. Because I got a bunch of videos on here just talking about um, a little mixture of everything, man. I talk about family. I talk about fashion. I talk about everything. You know, this is just uh, kind of like a channel for people who just need information on anything. And I pretty much try to give you a, a pretty good understanding of what I'm talking about. So... No worries. You know what I'm saying? Just uh just just chill with us, vibe with us, you know what I'm saying? Share this share this page with other people. So if you feeling like uh it's people that can get inspired by this, that wanna help their communities that you know, 
send them this video because I'm looking for people like that. I want to build a Discord server so we can talk about this. And Discord is just another, it's one of them community apps that people make. And all it is, is it's a chat. We just have a private chat and we just in there talking about stuff like this. What, what can you do in your community? What about you? What do you want to do in your community? How can I help you do that? How can you help me do this? So that's all I'm talking about, you know? But yeah, man, like all these great things happening. I started the stream off talking about all the great art that's taking place in the world during these weird times that we going through. And in all honesty, I want to see more of it. I want to see more people creating. I want to see more people quitting jobs. I want to see more people doing them. You know what I'm saying? Getting back to the essence. Because that's what's going to save us. That's what's going to save humanity. It might look crazy at first. But it, that's what's going to save humanity, man. Because on the real, I'm just excited to see what's going to happen next. Every day I wake up excited now because I found my purpose in all of this shit. All of this crazy, crazy stuff happening with everybody, you know. It ain't just in my world, but I'm sure everybody got something crazy going on in their personal life. So, don't hesitate to hit me up, y'all, for real. Like, I'm, whatever you want to talk about, as long as it's pertaining to moving the world forward into a better place and a peaceful place. And there's peace in the world now, but I feel like it's an imbalance. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we can push it more towards the middle. I feel like it's more crazy shit going on than there is non-crazy shit. And I like I like a good party. You know what I'm saying? I'm a party guy. I'm a rager. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like more can be done. But if anything... I really want to get with other people to see how we can get more done within ourselves. How can we work together as a team to uplift ourselves first? Because once we get to that point where all of us are like, man, I'm in a great place, bro. Thanks. Thank you. Nah, thank you. Then we can actually go out in the world as a team of individuals who already found ourselves moving up in this world. And we can get this shit really popping. We can get this shit really jumping. You know, we can get our own goddamn plane. We can get our own fucking farm. You know what I'm saying? And get this company popping. You know what I'm saying? Start up a corpor a new corporation for shit like this. Or uh, what they call them shits? Non-profit. Hell, everybody else starting churches. And, and what the fuck is them shits doing? You know? So, got to keep them eyes wide open, man. At least I do shit. I'm always looking for a way to to improve myself so that I can improve the world. I want to I want to improve myself more than anything though. For sure. Like that's the biggest shit for me at least. As long as as long as I'm getting better, I know that the people around me who finally decide to subscribe to what we talking about on here because pretty soon there's going to be a lot more things going on on this channel. Right now I'm just doing these talks streaming with y'all talking about what's going on current events and it ain't every stream i do isn't gonna be like this either you know what i'm saying like we talking about the information i give you the information and you run with it you do whatever you want with it shit you can delete this stream out your brain after you watch it but i want to see what people can do with the with this information because this world is looking for ideas. I know there's people who are smarter, if not as smart as me, who fucking looking for that next thing. It might be inside of me. I might not have the tools to do it right now myself, but I'm going to give game. I don't give a fuck. You know how niggas be stingy with the information? They don't be wanting to tell people like, man, I got a million dollar idea, but I don't got a million dollars to make it happen. I don't got it. I don't even got 10K to make it happen. Like, bruh. It's somebody who could stumble across this stream anywhere because the internet is fucking amazing. They're going to take this idea and they're going to do something great with it. Granted, it may not be a good person, but shit. I look at it like this. The person who's meant to get it will receive it. All I do is I make sure I set the intentions before I do any streams. That this shit goes to the, to the person who deserves it. 
Cause I don't want nobody out here fucking creating some dumbass shit <laughs> on behalf of my knowledge. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't like it ain't. It's it's it. I put it like this: it's bound to happen at some point. Like as more people, uh, as more people come into these streams, it's bound to happen, man. Somebody gonna find this shit, and they're gonna be like, "Damn, why the fuck I ain't think of this?" And it's gonna be some dark ass motherfucking wizard. And he gonna get out here and fucking have shit popping in his own special way. You know what? I ain't even gonna be mad at the nigga because it's gonna be a catalyst for some shit that we probably needed to happen. So, I I don't know. I just always see shit on the brighter side nowadays, man. I ain't gonna say I always been like this. This shit just recently happened within this week. Because last week, I ain't gonna lie, I was down in the fucking dumps of reality. Like, man... I just wish it was more people that I could connect with that's that's ready to do something. Even if it's just something small as investing in somebody who about the who about that action. You know what I'm saying? Like, we about that motherfucking action, man. Over here at Shoe Loves Rebels, Lord of Perfected Work Stream, we about that fucking action. Even if it's just me some days. I'm about that motherfucking action, bro. I have nothing to lose on this planet. I didn't I almost was gonna say too much. I'll just put it to you like this. I'm not, I'm ready to get out here and stand up for my people. Stand up for the the people who are afraid to speak but want to make change. I will be your motherfucking voice, man. Okay? I will be your fucking voice. I done put my whole heart and soul into being the voice of the people, man. So believe that when I tell you I ain't no fucking martyr. I'm not finna die for something because that's stupid. When there's always a different, there's, I'm like I said, I always gonna see a gray path. You feel me? No matter what, I'm always gonna see a gray path. So, understand when I tell y'all that I ain't gonna stop. I'll never give up on y'all as long as y'all don't give up on me. I'm, I'm doing a hundred projects. This, this Twitch shit. Is like one of a hundred things I do. And if you go to my website, you'll know exactly why I say that. Because I'm always trying to connect to people. No matter what. In any fucking way possible. If you buy something from uh, from 11.11 uh, or Tefnit. Off of my website. You, you're connecting with real people. You're connecting with people who working from their heart space. When you watch my stream, you're watching somebody who's speaking from the heart space. Granted, I use my mind and I use my passions or actions to find the information to speak about. And most of the time, I don't go looking for information. The shit comes to me. You know what I'm saying? The shit just comes to me. I I want to spread that shit as much as I can, bro. <laughs> no matter what. I'm going to be on this bitch every day, Monday through Saturday, 6 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. Excuse me, y'all. I had a burrito before this stream. That bitch is making a comeback. But, yeah, I'm not going to stop. I'll never give up on y'all. Believe that, okay? I will never, ever. I will die, okay, before I give up on, the, on seeing my dream come true. And my dream is to see y'all in this chat and the people that y'all share this chat with and the world come to a place where we all together, brainstorming together, not afraid to collaborate with each other, not afraid to be intimate with each other. Even if it's in our own space or just right here on this internet, this is a space for us too. This is our space right here. You know what I'm saying? This ain't, this ain't shit, man. You know what I'm saying? We on here talking about, you know, what y'all drink today? Y'all had some water? Shit, I wish I had some. I'm out dry as hell, boy. <laughs> so anyway, I made an altar today to Bass. Well, I, I made it official. It is officially an altar for Bass now. <laughs> it was, I, I didn't even realize it, but I was making it, uh, unconsciously making an altar to Bass and didn't even realize it. Because I got all these damn pyramids. They all got roses in them. And then on top of that, they all got Jasper. Onyx, fucking uh, Malachite. These are all stones of Bast. And by Bast, I mean Bastet. Bastet is the cat goddess. Or she's a queen with the head of a cat. 
a domesticated cat. But she has been coming to me because she wants me to stand out. She wants me to be a star amongst my peoples. So that's why I'm here. Because of her. She got me going this way. But I also have my sub. Because Lord Shoe X is another one. Of, that's my patron guy. He the one that lead me. He led me to victory so many times. He done got me out of so much fucked up shit. You want to know why? Because he is I and I am him. <laughs> Y'all remember that Snoop Dogg song? <laughs> Anyways, man. I hooked this altar up, man. I went ahead and did a whole ritual before this stream. And I ended up writing a fire's ass poem, man. I would read it to you, but uh, you got uh, you gotta stick around for when I drop my next project. And don't worry, y'all. I know you're like, when the fuck is that? <laughs> you know, I got to borrow one of my songs where I say, I know real niggas who, who walk their block every day and they asking me, have blood song, when the next album coming out today? And you just didn't even know it. <laughs> real gangsters like, yo, have blood. I remember when your ass was out here in these streets with us, man. When, when the next piece coming out? Ah, oh, man, you know, I don't know. Shit, it's out now. <laughs> Low key, it really is, though. I've been had the demo circulating on the internet for a year now. It's officially a year this month, actually. <laughs> I'm a funny guy, aren't I? I'm a jokester like a motherfucker, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm quirky, but I can't help it, man. I just love y'all so much. I love coming and doing these streams. This shit is the greatest thing that I've ever done creatively besides making music i really love doing these live streams man and the information i'll be dropping on these motherfuckers watch my previous streams please y'all they they on the channel man like it's some good information in these shits man take some notes too you know you might hear something in there that might Bing. oh i'm about to get paid and don't worry i know y'all like man you should just put all this shit in a book don't worry the book I already finished. <laughs> I'm just sitting on that motherfucker. It's coming soon. When I feel like dropping it. If I drop it. Because I'm doing these live streams. I might not need to drop it. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to make this book so cheap that a child could afford it. Or a, a child asking their parent to buy it for them. Wouldn't be like, what the hell? What the fuck you need a hundred dollar book for? You know what I'm saying? I made it. I made it. Uh, I made it so a child could buy it with some fucking money they got from selling pictures that they drew as a kid or you know shit like that <laughs> trying to make trying to make content that everybody can get involved with i wouldn't recommend a child watching these live streams because i talk like a fucking pirate a vashti but i can't help it y'all man i just i like cussing <laughs> it feels good You know I'm a passionate individual Got a lot of fire in my heart You know what I'm saying The halls of a mentee lives within me Damn I done went too deep again Here I'm gonna type this in here So y'all can go look this up though Halls of a mentee This is what's underneath the sphinx And that's all the super deep spiritual information I got for you today So yeah, I made my altar, did a ritual, wrote a fire-ass poem, ended up writing two songs today that I'm going to record soon. And guess what, y'all? Y'all get to hear them. But if you want to hear my uh, most recent works, just get on my website, shoelovesrebels.com, and click on the very first link that's on my website, shoelovesrebels.com, right, right here, underneath my face. Oh, this is my magic wand, by the way, y'all. You know, I'm a, I'm a wizard. I gotta have a magic wand. I actually am working on my next one, but it's a lot going on in this weather with these damn tropical storms, man. It's hurricane season. Can't stand it, but you know, Earth need drinks too. You know, we can't be the only ones drinking Kool Aid. Earth like Kool Aid too. But yeah. I'm kind of glad I did uh, the ritual before because, man, this was another potent stream today, too, man. Fucking connecting with y'all. I swear, bro. I really, really love doing this shit. And I really appreciate everybody who watches these streams for real. 
That's why I'm I'm gonna make sure that as these streams continue, I'm I'm gonna start going out of my way to look up current events because most of the time I'm just giving y'all information that comes to me. I actually don't go out looking for information to talk to y'all. The most I might do is like today, I asked my girl, hey, uh, help me figure out the name for this stream because I, I was just like, I literally like was, I think I did this like two minutes before the stream started too. She was like, you about to hang up on me again. And I'm like, hell yeah, because I'm about to fucking slide and talk to the people even though she in here watching now. So it's not like, I'm just like, bye, motherfucker. I got to go. But, yeah, man. That fucking ritual got me on 10 right now. You know what I'm saying? And you would think a nigga who as thirsty as I am right now would be able to even talk this much. But you know what? I'm going to talk through the pain. You feel me? <laughs> no, I ain't in pain, y'all. I'm not in pain. I'm going to get some water after this stream, though. I might get a few bottles of water, shit. Fucking get my mind right Cause I gotta go outside If it ain't fucking raining By the time I go out there I gotta go uh, Damn Yo I'm gonna show y'all a picture of my garden On The next Stream I'm gonna show y'all a picture of my most recent garden On the next stream Alright Y'all gonna see a picture of what I'm working on We just had to move the box Two days ago Or on Monday So yesterday Nah, day before yesterday. But I moved the box and my grandma I'm finna get some dirt to put in the box. And I'm finna help her with that. I'm finna put some dirt in the box tonight. Well, it's a bag on the side of the crib. I gotta go get that shit and put the dirt in there. And then after that, I gotta dig up the rest of the dirt from the original spot and move it over to the new spot. We just got this new wheelbarrow. Actually, my dad's birthday gift. Which is fucking awesome. That I would have been happy if they had got me that for my birthday. But you know, niggas always think I want some fucking vape or something. Like, god damn, bro. <laughs> I don't even like birthday cake. Like, what the fuck? But I tell you what cakes I do like. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing, bro. <laughs> or am I? Anyways. Yeah, so just doing that. Just fucking trying to produce food so that I don't have to go to the store no more and look for the organic products because I'm literally growing organic products here. And I'm talking about food that I'm eating already right now. I just had this, uh, this shit called corn medley. We put these, these green peppers that we grew. Yo. Look, the green pepper so strong, bro. When you touch the green pepper and you smell your hand, your hands smell like green peppers, man. Now, you can go in the store and I bet you your shit won't do that. Cause they they be putting that wax layer on top of the the vegetables, so it should be whack. It be whack, man. It be some whackness. But you know, I'm I'm actually eating fruit for my garden. Fucking green peppers from the garden, blueberries, blackberries. Right now, I'm trying to grow some herbs too, so we ain't gotta go pick up herbs. We trying to get the basil, oregano, you know, you know, the basics, but yeah, other than that, man, just living my best life as the, as the wizard, Lord Shuex, trying to get game where game is due, I know people be trying to hold back, but that's some whack shit, you know what I'm saying, if you got the info, spread that shit, whatever I tell you in here, if you feel like it's just worthless, go, or not worthless, but you feel like you can't do shit with it, go find somebody you feel like can do something with it. You feel me? Anyways, y'all, much love to everybody watch the stream today. Visit my website, shoelovesrebels.com. Hit me up on IG. Hit me up on Facebook at shoelovesrebels, LLC. I'm out this bitch. <laughs> That's my favorite part of the whole stream when I say that. <laughs> I'm out this bitch. <laughs> All right, y'all.